a good point. I'm checking on the weekender. I'm with LJ. Say hi, LJ. Hi, LJ. And I just wanted to, you know, put some finishing touches on the things that I'm getting done. Just in case I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Still haven't decided. But we have pretty much prepped really well. We have solar panels. We have extra gas tanks. We have uh, power inverters, batteries. I have chargeable batteries. I have um, like rechargeable we have rechargeable flashlights. We have siphons. We have 100 gallons of water. Is it 100 or 70 gallons of water? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wait, I'm bugging. Uh, 30, 40, 50, 65 gallons of water. <laughs> we got 65 gallons of water. That's not including um, that's not including the bottled water. I'm just talking about water inside of a water and water tanks. Where we're taking the New York City water and we're putting them in big seven gallon water tanks. And um, we have a lot of those all, they're all full. Um, so the trailer, that trailer there fits 25 gallons of water. And we also have, uh, that comes with a stove and all that, because it's enough for the family, for us to just jump in the jump in the car, uh, fill up this gas tank, this will get us 400 miles, and then we have three additional tanks that'll get us uh, another 400, so we potentially could go 800 miles on the gasoline that we have if we needed to move quickly. So, um, those are refreshing numbers in my head to know that. But right now, we can get up and go, and we can do 800 miles. You know, before we needed to fill up. Where will we go? We don't have that contingency plan, but we do know a couple of places we could go. Yeah. You know, places like Nebraska, places like Pennsylvania, you know, yeah. North Carolina, Detroit. you know. <laughs> Detroit, who we got in Detroit? Oh, the Fantastic. Colonel. The retired oh, colonel. They're in Maryland. Oh, they're in Maryland. Who's in Detroit? My another army wife. My auntie and her cousin and her daughter. Oh, my God, Zakia. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. Detroit. Yeah. So, and then we also have all mountain bikes. Yeah. So, well, the kids don't have mountain bikes, but we all have bikes. And today I bought the inner tubes that don't, if they if the inner tube is punctured, it won't leak. It comes with that green gel. So I have uh, LJ's bike, my bike, and the kids' bikes, which were 20-inch tires and ours are 29-inch tires. So we potentially can ride many, many miles and not have to worry about flat tires and all that kind of stuff if we had to. Plus, we do have, um, we have two camping bags. Underneath Cody's bed, there's the blue and red camping bags. Remember those? The hiking bags. It's like, you know, you can fit all kind of stuff in this bag. It's like the most amazing bag. And it comes with the tent, a built-in tent. Oh, Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Where you can unzip it and it turns into some really cool tent. Where you, you're like underneath a tent and your backpack won't get wet or anything. So we have those two things. That? Oh, that's dumpsters. I thought that was some type of... Section. Yeah, yeah, some sort of like, you know, oh, some barricade or, yeah. or something, right? <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. That looks like it could be used as a barricade to barricade this entrance. There's an entrance here. Good, good eye, LJ. See this, guys? That's the entrance there to get onto the George Washington Bridge. And this could be some sort of barrier. But they are doing construction right here, so this might be part of the construction site that's there. 
So just, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at every angle. Um, you know, but I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet with the trailer. You know, um, I do have a brother that's in a program that I was thinking about. Um, maybe, you know, I, I just, I don't really want to take on another mouth. My brother's not a young man. He's not a child. He's a grown up. He's six years younger than me. You know, he's a 40 year old man. And I know he's a, like a married man. And I know he has two adult daughters. So, you know, I, I don't think I should be feeling bad about him. I'm sure he can call up these people, you know, and get help. I'm sure if you, you know, you got a wife and it's a pandemic and the wife got to let you in the house. Yeah, you know, man. like, you know, you can't be, you know, who doesn't, let, you know, come on, who's going to lock, who's not going to let their husband in? So there is a part of me that's a little torn. I feel like, man, I should be extending and saying to my brother, yo, you take that trailer, at least somebody's in the trailer, nobody will mess with it. But that means I would now have to provide what? Propane? Mm -hmm. I would have to give him a, a thing of propane. Do I then give him a Mr. Buddy? We have a Mr. Buddy heater. Do I have to now buy a Mr. Buddy heater? Yes. Oh, but I can give him a sleeping bag. Oh, shucks, there is parking here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's like uh, the Mr. Buddy, like, do I not have to provide heat? Or in the trailer, he can just warm up in the in the um, thing. But what about, how's he going to charge his battery? So, then I provide him with a cell. I have to provide him with a, with a battery and a cell. And a, uh, and I, no, but the water he can get on his own. The hydras have water. Yeah, but he went. No, don't say that. That's how you see him. He's gonna say, "How am I gonna carry it?" He's he's a grown man. He's healthy and strong. I will have to give him a water bottle, and that water bottle he can utilize. And then I guess we'll give him like what, like a a frying pan and a and a pot. And then I. Did the guy just hit that car, right? No, that came flying up from up the sky. Oh, that's just the wind. The wind. Throwing that off the terrace. Oh, someone threw it off the terrace. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, it's a situation where uh, I don't know what to do here, man. I, I, do I offer my brother a place to live who has a wife, who has two adult daughters, who has a sister who works for the district attorney's office who owns a home i'm sure and like don't you 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 got options you know you got an opportunity here and then i was thinking about your father and let's you know let's keep it real here lj's father is living in the shelter it's okay that i say that right babe i'm <laughs> yeah. sorry i don't mean to say that let's keep it real man you know we black in america it ain't easy out here yeah. you know and it's like her father's in the shelter so i'm not offering her father that trailer. That trailer get burnt down. He'll fall asleep smoking something weird. And that trailer get burnt down. The, he'll, he'll start trying to cook. He'll, he'll be trying to cook something crazy in the oven. And the oven, the brand new beautiful oven is going to be all tore up and burnt up. So, you know, maybe I would offer your father a place if he needed to stay. If he, he's like, yo, I can't stay here in the shelter. What am I going to do? When I say, well, take the sh take the trailer. Here's a pot. Here's a pan. Here's a plate. Here's a knife. Here's a fork. Here's propane. And what happens when the propane runs out? Even though that propane will last a long time, a 20 gallon of propane, when you're cooking, that'll last months if you do it right. Yeah, if you do it right. Yeah, but here's the mm -hmm. thing, though. If we let your father come, or if we let my brother come, who's gonna, who's gonna? Like, do we pay? Like, what do you mean? Like, do they pay? Or no, no. Like, like, do we have to now then feed them? You'll be reliable, you know. So then I would have to feed them, and I got you and my two kids. You see, this is the part where it reminds me of Star. Star says, "Worry about you." and yours mm -hmm. when it comes time like this you got to worry about you and yours I've been prepping we've been prepping for nine years not nine years we've been prepping for four years 
three, four years we've been prepping. You know? And it's like... We got the water filtration systems. You know, we have where we can just... We can put it in a backpack. And we can just pour the dirtiest water in this filtration system. And it's good for like 300 gallons. Okay? And that's like, you know, that's $90 each that we pay for that. You know, we have two of those. Do we then just now cut I, I don't even know what to say I don't even know what to do I, I mean I, I just do not I'm torn because and I'm not torn about your dad because your dad hasn't asked for any help neither has my brother my brother hasn't asked for any help but I could just feel the pressure I'm putting on myself you feel me yeah. I feel that pressure like man should I be offering this and then he's gonna call me every single day and then what I'm gonna do I gotta I gotta feed the dude I mean I'm gonna feel horrible if I don't but don't forget the guy got a wife he got two adult daughters. He got a sister. He got a mom. mom mom's is in, in um, what's it called? Mom's is in Puerto Rico. I don't know, but. It's a lot. It's a lot of stress. You know? When people wouldn't even talk to me, they were like, oh, here comes this guy with the conspiracies. Walking away from me like I'm the weirdo. Yeah, okay. I'm the weirdo. That's me. But I got all this crap and I'm ready to go. We are ready to go. We can get out of here, I think, in 15 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We're out of here. And we're five minutes from the bridge. But we don't even have to take this bridge. We can take Broadway all the way up to Riverdale. And then if we have to, we can take bikes. If we got to just take anything, we take the water filtration system. We jump on our bikes and we have our sleeping bags and all that, you know, and our hiking gear. We got cash and we just keep it pushing. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm torn. You know, a few plans. Yeah, we have a few options. Options. But it brings a little bit of anxiety. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I was suffering from some sort of anxiety over this. You know, it's like... You know, I love my brother. But you know, he does have a wife, right? And two adult daughters. See, that's like my, makes me feel better when I say that enough, which is horrible. And that's horrible to do that. I don't want to be like that. That's freaking horrible. Yeah, anyway. Um, this is me ranting about. on your plate right What's now. on my plate? <laughs> my plate is so full. My family. We up to only one meal a day. Right, baby? That was another thing. We did one meal a day. I don't know. You got... No, no. My kids had the the, the bacon and something you made them today, right? Mm -hmm. You made them breakfast mm -hmm. and I fed Cody lunch, but the lunch was late. The, the lunch was, I don't know, six o'clock lunch? Six o'clock? So... That was early dinner. dinner. That was early <laughs> dinner. You know, like he was like, what time are we going to eat? And I was like watching the clock and I saw it was like six o'clock. And that's when we got the burgers with the cheese fries. Oh, mm. it was so good over there. And um, because I dropped off the solar panels. I bought two solar panels yesterday. One of them I dropped off to my best friend up in um, Scotch, uh, Plains. Scotch Plains. So I drove to Jersey, went to Scotch Plains, dropped off. Mind you, when I get there, I look at his house. He has the whole roof is full of solar panels. I'm like, dude, you got all these solar panels. He says, yeah, I know. I didn't really think about it when you told me he's going to give me some solar panels. I forgot that I have my whole entire house wired. So when I opened up the unit, I was like, oh, look, I followed the line, opened up the unit. This thing had a wireless device that was hooked up to a USB. So I disconnected that. You don't need nobody to monitor how much solar power you're getting. You don't need anybody to monitor whether they can send a signal and blow one of these fuses over here. And you got nothing. So now, but only problem, I had I showed them where if you unscrew these two wires, that's going to pull it away from the grid. 
So these two wires, you take these two wires out and it, the solar panel won't go to the grid. It'll go directly only to your house. So only your house is getting it, but you won't have any, yeah, I said, as soon as the sun goes down, you won't have any power. You have to then go get you some batteries. I told him, you gotta get you, I said, I got you some solar panels, for, like the box that I got him, he's just gonna take it in case of emergency, he has to leave the house. If they have to leave and they'll take maybe wifey's truck or something like that, they can put the solar panels on the top and they can just all charge up their stuff. So it's like an emergency kit I gave them, you know? And um, so he has that. He has, um, so I that was my gift to him, you know? And what's it called? Um, because I was just thinking, I, I I didn't need two setups like that, you know, and I and I didn't know he didn't have any solar. I didn't know his whole fucking roof. Excuse my line. His whole freaking roof was full to the to the every. He has like thirty solar panels up in his house. That's my boy. He's a doctor. He just bought a one point two out there in Scotch Plains, and um, one point two million dollars. He has a house, and the house is equipped with solar. Mind you, there is no one else in the neighborhood with solar. In that cul-de-sac area, because it's like down the area, then it's two cul-de-sacs, and it comes back out. Mm -hmm. So now I told them you need to go to every single one of your neighbors and let them know if the grid goes down, come by in the daytime. You can charge up all your stuff, mm -hmm. and you just throw out three extension cords. Don't wait for the grid to go down, and then you nervous about. You need to go now and make friends with your neighbors and tell them, yo. Because this is how they're separating us. They're trying to separate us, literally. And nobody knows their neighbor, so there's no going to be no cohesion. When the freaking ops come up your block and the neighbor sees you getting dragged out your house, he ain't fighting with you because he don't know you. Offer him some power, and now he knows you. And you'd be surprised what talking to your neighbors and having that cohesiveness is how necessary it is. You know? And there's, yeah. there's like six mini mansions over there. None of them got solar. He's the only one. His whole entire roof, baby, is full of solar panels. Wow. Bam. He didn't even know. <laughs> That's funny. Can't make that up. Can't make that up. Mm -mm. So, um... No one looks up. <laughs> even on their roof. I never even noticed those solar panels. Jeez Louise. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, what would you do? What would you do? You do know that the people that are watching this are part of some of the most intelligent people in the world that do not accept the narrative. You are the 1%. You are the 1% of the people that are saying, this ain't right. What would you do about your brother who's in the program, drug program, by the way? Um, maybe the, how many, how many, you know, I don't know how many times he's been in the drug program. Let's say five times, three times. You know, maybe three times he's been in the program. I don't know. But, this program, brother of mine that I love and care about, what do you do when it's when you're told to protect you and yours? Is he yours too? Is it is it my responsibility? What would you do? Boom.